Howdy, Cowboys Nation. It's time to saddle up and join the excitement on Cowboys News TV. Grab your favorite jersey, snag your lucky snack, and get ready to kick back in the coziest spot on the couch. We're about to take a wild ride through the latest and greatest happenings with America's team. This isn't your ordinary sports update. It's a full-on expedition into the heart and soul of the Dallas Cowboys. We've got twists, turns, and a dash of that good old Texas charm. Wrangle that subscribe button. Subscribing isn't just a click. It's your testa with gusto. Cowboys Nation, your support means the world to us. So let's grow and enjoy the ride. Simple click on the like button and a subscription to our channel can make a world of difference for us. Now, let's jump into the aftermath of the Cowboys' tough loss. In a symbolic act of disillusionment, Jerry Jones visibly distanced himself from the Dallas Cowboys during their crushing 48-32 defeat by the Green Bay Packers. The dreams of a Super Bowl title, which had eluded the franchise for 28 years, vanished at AT&T Stadium in a remarkable NFC wildcard playoff game. Despite being seven-point favorites in their home playoff against the seventh-seeded Packers, the Cowboys faced an unexpected early exit. The final score of 48-32 didn't truly capture the one-sided nature of the game. Throughout the match, Fox's cameras frequently zoomed in on Jones' executive suite, where the 81-year-old owner appeared eager for the offseason to commence. The captured footage showcased Jones engaging in heated conversations with his nearby companions as the Packers secured touchdowns. As the Packers' score climbed, so did Jones's frustration. There were moments when it seemed Jones might dismiss Coach McCarthy on the spot. After the defeat, the Cowboys continued their trend of consistently missing out on the NFC Championship game, a drought dating back to 1995. For McCarthy, Premature and disheartening exits from the postseason have unfortunately become somewhat of a norm. Despite securing 12 victories in each of the last three regular seasons, the Cowboys have only managed two playoff wins since 2016 and haven't reached the NFC Championship game in the past 29 seasons. Jones shared his shock and dismay after the game at AT&T Stadium, expressing, I'm floored. This seems like the most painful. This is beyond my comprehension. Since taking the helm in the Cowboys' front office, Jones has witnessed three Super Bowl victories, yet steering the world's most valuable sports franchise back to that zenith has eluded him for nearly three decades. The expectation had been different, but in their initial playoff bout with the Packers, the Cowboys encountered a complete debacle. One of the peculiar subplots was the misalignment between Prescott and Lamb, encapsulating the team's disastrous performance. While Lamb's individual stats were impressive, with nine receptions for 110 yards, the majority occurred during a period when the team faced challenges. The majority of C.D. Lamb's accomplishments during the game against the Green Bay Packers occurred when the Cowboys were significantly trailing and operating in desperation mode. In the opening half, Lamb's contribution was limited to a single reception shortly before the two-minute warning of the second quarter. Lamb was targeted 18 times throughout the game, with five of these targets coming in the first half, resulting in just one catch. The lack of coordination between Lamb and Prescott was evident, with instances of miscommunication. Notably, Lamb dropped a pass that struck his hands, and there was a moment when Prescott overthrew the ball to him. Furthermore, Prescott's pass intended for Lamb was intercepted by Packers safety Darnell Savage, who sprinted for a touchdown, extending the score to 27-0 at the end of the second quarter. Lamb acknowledged his missteps, stating, Ordinarily, those are passes we complete. I recognize that I could have performed better, and I'm sure he would agree. We're not blaming each other. We both could have executed more effectively. Commentator Kevin Burkhardt remarked on an odd tension between Prescott and C.D. Lamb during the broadcast. When asked if this overwhelming defeat felt distinct from previous playoff setbacks, Lamb responded, it still feels the same. We lost. 
Regarding his sluggish performance in the first half and his late initial catch, Lamb mentioned that it was challenging and really tough. Prescott, despite impressive final statistics of 43 passing yards and three touchdowns, admitted to a terrible performance in the post-game interview. These stats were achieved over 60 pass attempts as the Cowboys were behind throughout the game. The tally doesn't account for the two critical interceptions in the first half, one leading directly to a touchdown and the other resulting in a touchdown after being intercepted at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. In a show of support for his head coach McCarthy, Prescott stated that McCarthy has been amazing, expressing confusion about why his future is in question. However, he acknowledged the business aspect of the decision and turned the focus on himself, stating that if questions about McCarthy's future are raised, questions about him should be raised too. Prescott concluded by emphasizing the Super Bowl as the ultimate goal. Turning the focus to himself, Dak Prescott acknowledged that if questions are raised about Coach McCarthy's future, they should be raised about him too. Prescott emphasized that winning the Super Bowl is the league's and the organization's standard, expressing awareness of that expectation and accepting scrutiny. Reflecting on his performance, Prescott admitted, I didn't play well tonight, acknowledging it is his first multi-interception game at home this season. Despite some improvement later in the game, he deemed it insignificant. Prescott stressed that the bottom line is about winning, not just in the playoffs, but also securing victory in the final game. When an owner's lofty aspirations go unfulfilled, it's typically the coach who bears the brunt. Given the availability of prominent coaching figures like Bill Belichick, Jim Harbaugh, and Mike Vrabel, Jerry Jones and the Cowboys could consider replacing McCarthy with another established talent following another early departure. Reflecting on the possibility of Bill Belichick joining the Cowboys, it's seen as a major move for Jones and the team. According to Mike Florio from Pro Football Talk, the prospect of Belichick coaching a team with star players like Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb, along with a talent-rich defense, is a tangible possibility. Belichick, renowned for securing six Super Bowl titles with the Patriots, has a distinguished coaching record. Despite a less impressive record in matches not featuring Tom Brady, if the Cowboys part ways with McCarthy, Belichick emerges as one of the most distinguished head coaching options on the market. Given the rapport between Jones and Belichick, this scenario is one to keep an eye on. The video concludes by expressing gratitude for watching, inviting viewers to subscribe, leave opinions in the comments, and emphasizing the value of feedback.